Hello friends, in this session we are going to see again important topic that is time and book. Now in all the banking exams that you are going to appear, definitely there will be questions on time and work. So it could be either about time and work or it could be about pipes and systems, but the concepts required are going to be exactly the same. Now this topic, I divide the questions into two type. Type one question where the form of the question could be that two men do two works in two days. So one man will do one work in how many days? Those type of questions. And under type 2, we are going to observe entire different type of question that is A does a work in say 8 days and there is another person B who does the same work in say 24 days. So if together they are going to do the work in how many days the work will get complete. So this is the type 2 question. Now because there are two different type clearly the approach that we are going to use to solve these questions also are going to be entirely different from each other. So first thing you have to do when you see the question is to identify the type, whether it is type 1 question or type 2 question. We'll first discuss the type 1 question. So again, let's take the same example. If I say two men do two works in two days, so one man will do one work in how many days? Now, if you try to solve this question by analyzing first, you have to understand if two men are doing two works in two days. Now, we'll think about one man. So today, out of these two men, one man doesn't appear. So let's say only one man comes up and he has to do same two works. So now because the manpower is getting half and the, to perform the same work, of course, the number of days required will be doubled. So now here the days required are going to be four days. But now he comes to know he doesn't have to do two works. He has to do in fact only one work. So now if the one man was taking four days to perform two works. Now if he has to do only one work. So because this time for the same person, if the amount of work is getting half, the number of days required also are going to get half. And that is why he is going to take two days. So one man will do one work in two days. So two days is going to be the answer for this question. But of course, we can't solve the questions like this all the time because the figures are not going to be this easy. So how do we solve this question? We solve this question by using the proportionality or we can just directly use this relation like M1 D1 upon W1 is equal to M2 D2 upon W2. Now, what is M1, D1, W1? These are the situation given in the first statement. M for number of men, W for amount of work and D for number of days. And these on the right hand side, they belong to the second statement. So how to use this? All you have to do is you have to put this data here. So number of men in first situation were 2, number of days were 2 and the amount of work was also 2. So 2 into 2 upon 2. Number of man in second situation is 1. Amount of days we have to calculate. That is D2 we have to calculate. And amount of work is 1. Now as you can see 2, 2 gets cancelled. This 1, 1 also goes. And what remains is D2 is equal to 2. That means the number of days required in the second situation are going to be 2 days. So of course we can solve the questions with the help of this formula. But are the questions going to be easy or same type all the time? No, of course, there can some person join in between, some person leave in between. So, of course, there will be little variety, but we can all the time still use the formula and still we can solve the questions provided we do sufficient practice. Now, there is a type 2 question that we think of that is A does a work in 8 days, B does the same work in 24 days. If A and B they both work together in how many days the work will get complete. So here also if you try to think that if A does one work 
in eight days so how much work per day he is doing so if one work he is doing in eight day in one day he is going to one eighth of the work similarly if b is doing one work in 24 days in one day work per day is going to be 1 by 24th of the work so together they are going to do 1 by 8 plus 1 by 24 that is this can you can write as 3 by 24 plus 1 by 24 that becomes 4 by 24 or 1 by 6 so in one day they do 1 sixth of the work so every day if they are doing 1 sixth 1 six, 1 six, how many days are going to require such six days will be required so that means the answer is going to be six days that means all you have to do is take the reciprocal of it you just have to inverse it and the answer is going to be six days but again if you try to solve the questions in the fraction form it is not going to be easy all the time of course provided the question is asked in the same language you can use the formula first we'll discuss the formula the formula says if a does a work in a days and b does a work in b days together a and b they will do the work in a b upon a plus b number of days this is direct formula you can use here in this case value of small a is going to be 8 and value of small b is going to be 24 so 8 into 24 upon 8 plus 24 now 8 plus 24 is 32 so this is going to be 4 times 24 by 4 is going to be 6 days. So of course friend if the question is strictly in this language you have to use the formula. The formula is the best way to do this question if it is as simple as this. But again in some cases one person may join in between. One person might leave the work in between. So that means you have to have another approach as well. You can't use the formula if both of the people are, are not working or there are multiple people, then also the formula won't be useful. So that is why we have to have another method which we call LCM method. And that will be a better method to solve a little different type of questions. So what do you mean by the LCM method? That's what we are going to see. So in the LCM method, what we do is we consider the total work as the common multiple of the days given by all the people. So if A does a work in 8 days and B does a work in 24 days, can you think of a number which is common multiple of 8 and 24? You can say 24. You can also say 48. You can say 72 any multiple of 24 is going to be common multiple of 8 and 24 but smaller is going to be obviously easier so we consider the total work as making 24 hats of course we can we can take the work of our own choice i mean the amount of work of our own choice for these kind of question so if a makes 24 hats in eight days so every day he is going to make three hats per day and similarly, if B is going to make 24 hats in 24 days, every day he is going to make 24 hats per day. So if to get, sorry, <clears throat> he's going to make one hat per day. 24 by 24, he's going to make one hat per day. So together they are going to make 3 plus 1, 4 hats per day. Now, we have to make the total work is 24. So always remember this, that the number of days required is going to be the work to be completed divided by the rate at which it is being completed. The rate means per day work. So if the total work has to be done is 24 hats you have to make and every day if you are making 4 hats, so the number of days required are going to be 6 days. So what is the benefit of this method is, even if one person joins in between, another person lives in from the work from in between, then also you can just consider their unit work and for how many days they are working and that will decide their total work. So of course, we'll see it more clearly once we see the type of the questions or variety questions. So let's see some of the questions that they have asked in these exams previously. Now this is first question. They asked in RBI grade B 2019. It says in how many days four men and four women can complete the work. 
this is question about the data sufficiency so you know how to tackle these question you have to first see whether alone or single statement can be used to solve the question in how many days four men and four women can complete the work six men and ten women can complete the work in ten days so can you use this data to solve this question of course not because there are two different kind of people men and women so you require two statement for that the single statement here is not going to be useful you require both the statement let's see how how to solve this question of course you don't have to solve the data sufficiency question you don't have to find the answer you just have to decide which data is sufficient but we'll take this question as a practice question like how both the datas are going to use to solve this question so we have seen the formula that m1 d1 upon w1 is equal to m2 d2 upon w2 this formula we have already seen right but when we write m1 and m2 they are about the same kind they have to be either man or woman you can't write man and woman both as the m1 at least for this form so we have to change the form a little bit when i say m1 you have to write the complete manpower provided in the first statement so if there are six men and ten women you are going to write it as for m1 you are going to write 6m plus 10w so this is the main power in first situation so m1 becomes 6m plus 10w and they can complete the work in 10 days so number of days is going to be 10 so d1's value is going to be 10 divided by the work now the same work we are talking here so you can say one work is equal to m2 d2 upon w2 so m2 means the main power in the second situation is 8 men and 20 women so 8m plus 20w is going to be the work main main power in the second condition and the days are 6 so value of d2 is going to be 6 and divided by the work now work being the same in both cases you can just write one here again now this is going to give you your conversion conversion in the sense how many men equivalent to how many women this is what you are going to get from this so you can just solve first you can divide with 2 2 it becomes 2 3 times 2 is 5 times and then you can just expand it becomes 30 m plus 50 w is equal to 24 m plus 60 w and that gets us 30 sorry 30 m minus 24 m is equal to 60 w minus 50 w and that gets us 6 m is equal to 10 w or you can again divide by 2 to 3 m is equal to 5 w that gives us our required conversion how many men equivalent to how many women and now you can convert the number of the men into women or women into men so you can convert every type into one category either of man or woman so now there are 10 women here so you can just say 10 women are going to be equivalent to six men and there are 20 women here so you can say 20 women are going to be equivalent to or they, it became two times so that should also become two times that is 12 men so now we have six men and 10 women now 10 women means six men again so six men plus six men these are equivalent to six men so six men plus six men means 12 men can do the work in 10 days so again you can use the same formula m1 d1 upon w1 is equal to now you are required this four men and four women now again converting the women into the man so four women are going to be equal to see from here one woman is going to be equal to three by five men so four women are going to be equal to four times that is 12 by 5 m so 12 by 5 m plus 4 m that is 32 by 5 m so these many man power are here or number of men are here so you can write instead of m2 you can write 32 by 5 m into d2 upon the amount of work is same 
and then you can see because both sides there there are main now you can just cancel out the main main and you can solve for the number of days as i said in this question because the figures are little not so easy to solve for because you are not expected to answer the question you are just expected to tell which data is sufficient so please remember friends forever that if there are two categories men and women and the statement is given in terms of and you require two such statement to solve the question okay so you can just solve for d2 here that means both the statement together will be required so we are going to answer option number d data in both statement together are necessary to answer the question let's see one more to complete a project 18 women take four more days than the number of days taken by 12 men if eight men complete the project in nine days how much work will be left when 15 women and 12 men together work for three days so it says 18 women take four more days than the number of days taken by 12 men so first we'll have to find out how many days 12 men take to complete one work if eight men do the work in nine days so first situation is eight men do the work in nine days so m1 into d1 upon w1 see friends whenever they are talking about the same work same work same work so we don't all the time use m1 into d1 upon w1 is equal to m2 into d2 upon w2 because if the work is same you can just short it to m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 and that is what we are going to do here because the amount of work is same so m1 into d1 is equal to m2 which is 12 men into d2 the d2 we have to find out and you can say 72 upon 12 d2 is going to be 6 days that means 12 men take 6 days to complete that work now 18 women take four more days that means the 18 women are going to take 10 days to complete that work now we require to form the conversion now you know 18 women take 10 days so again you are going to use the formula m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 but here in m1 you are going to write 18 w because there are women so m1 is 18 w into number of days which is 10 so m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 so m2 d2 is 12 men and 12 men you know they take 6 days you can use either of the data you can use 8 men 9 days or 12 men 6 days that gives us our required conversion conversion means you can just short it to 3 3 fours are that means 10 w is equal to 4m or 5w is equal to 2m now this is the conversion form this is the conversion form from the conversion form you can just form the efficiency form efficiency form means you can just take right in the ratio form so w upon m is going to be 2 upon 5 this is the conversion form how many women is equal to how many men and this is called as the efficiency form so efficiency form means you can just say that one woman does two work per day because in front of w there is two and one man does five works per day this is what you can say because this question is asking us about the amount of work left so first of all we'll have to find out the total work how much is the total work so now if 18 women are going to take 10 days now we know one woman does two work per day so 18 women will do 36 work per day and such they are working for 10 days that means the total work is 360 360 is the total amount of work now out of that how much work has been already done 15 women if women does 2 2 works per day that means they have they do 30 works per day and 12 women sorry 12 men if man does 5 works per day that means 12 into 5 men have done already 60 works per day so together 15 women and 12 men they are doing 90 works per day 
and such they worked for three days that means 90 into 3 270 work is completed so they are asking how much work is left so out of 360 if 270 is done so left work is 90 works out of total 360 that means one fourth amount of the work is left so one fourth work is left easy let's see one more 12 men can complete a project in 12 days 12 children can complete the same project in 16 days and 8 women can complete the same project in 20 days now there are three categories but still we are going to use the same form that m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 and first we'll form the conversion that is how many men is equal to how many children and how many men is equal to how many women so we can just write m1 is 10 m into d1 is 12 is equal to m2 is 12 c into d2 is 16 so 12 12 can get cancelled 10 m is equal to 16 c or you can divide it by 2 2 and we get 5 men is equal to 8 c so this is our conversion between men and children 5 men is equal to 8 children now we'll use the second and the third data that is 12 children do the work in 16 days so 8 women do the work in 20 days so that gives us our conversion 8 twos are 16 and then 24 men is equal to 20 w or dividing by 4 4 we'll get 6 children is equal to 5 women Now, we can use the efficiency form again. We can just say, man upon children is equal to 8 upon 5 and children upon women is equal to 5 upon 6. And we can merge these two ratios because the children is 5 in the both side. We can just merge it. So we know, men is to children is to women is 8 is to 5 is to 6. And we can say, that one man does 8 work per day, one children does, one child does 5 works per day and one woman does 6 works per day. So this is what we call the efficiency. Now how much is the total work? First we will solve for the total work. The total work is going to be. 10 men can complete the work in 12 days. Now, if man is doing 8 work per day, 10 men will do 80 works per day and such way they are working for 12 days. That means this is our entire work. That is 960 is the total amount of work. Now, first 5 men and 12 children, they started working. So, how much work is done by them? 5 men, if one man does 8 work, so 40 works per day, the 5 men will do and the 12 children one child does 5 works per day so 12 ch children will do 60 works per day so together they are doing this much work per day 40 plus 60 that is 100 works per day and such a way they have worked for 4 days so in 4 days they have already done the completed work is going to be 400 works and that much work is already done so how much is left 560 work is left now this much work now is to be done by whom five men are still there now they will be doing 40 works per day the men will be doing 40 works per day children 
Now out of 12 children, 8 children are gone. So only 4 children are left. So 4 children at the rate of 5 works per day. So they will be doing 20 works per day. And now the woman, there are 4 women. One woman does 6 works per day. So 4 into 6, 24 works per day are done by woman. So together, 40 plus 20, 60, 60 plus 24, 84 works per day are being done by these people. We have to complete 560 works because those are the amount that is left. So the days required will be the amount of work done, work to be done, divided by the rate at which it is being done. So 560 works are to be done. Every day we are doing 84 works. So these many days will be required. So you can just divide it by 14 first. 14, 6 are 14, 4 are 40 by 6 or 6 complete 2 by 3. So the answer is going to be 6 complete 2 by 3. Yes, it is a little lengthy question. But in uh, RBI grade B, you can expect sometimes the lengthy questions like this. So you have to go through entire process. Let's see one more. But in other exams, the questions will be easy. Obviously. Now this is a small question as you can see. 40 men can complete a work in 48 days. 64 men started the same work for X days. After X days, 32 men increased. So the remaining work is completed in 16 complete 2 by 3 days. Find the value of X. So in this question, you can just say that one man does one work per day. So if there are 40 men, they will be doing 40 works per day. And if they are such working for 48 days, that means the total work is 40, 40 works they are doing every day and such they work for 48 days. So 48 into 40, that is 1920. That is the total amount of work. Now 64 men, they started working for X days. After X days, 32 men increased. So the remaining work is completed in 16 complete 2 by 3 days. 16 complete 2 by 3 is 50 by 3 days. So in this 50 th by 3 days, total 96 men were working. These 64 plus these 32. Total 96 men were working. So 96 men, if one man does one work per day, 96 men are doing 96 works per day. And if they work for 50 by 3 days, so this much work is completed by these many people. Completed by all 96 men. That is 1600. So 1600 work is done by those 96 people. So remaining 320 work must be done by the 64 people in the X days. So to perform 320 works at the rate of 64 because there are 64 men. So they must be doing 64 works per day. So at the rate of 64, to perform 320 works, the days required are work to be done divided by the everyday work. That is 5 days. That means these 64 men work for 5 days. That means the value of x is 5. Easy. Let's see one more. 14 men can do the work in 18 days. 15 women can do the work in 24 days. If 14 men work for first 3 days and 10 women work after that for 3 days, find the part of the le work left after that. So first we'll have to form our conversion. So you know M1 D1 is equal to M2 D2. M1 means 14 M into D1 is equal to M2 that is 15 W into D2 that is 24. And you can just divide by 6, 6 first, 6, 3s are, 6 is 4s are. Again, we can divide by 3, 3 is 5 times. So 14 man is equal to 20 women or 7 man is equal to 10 women. 
that is our conversion and the efficiency form will be m upon w is equal to 10 upon 7. So you can say one man does 10 works per day and one woman does 7 works per day. So if 14 men work for first 3 days, 14 men, one man does 10 works per day, so 14 men will do 140 works per day and if they are working for 3 days, so 140 into 3, 420 works is done by them, completed by men. Then 10 women work after that for 3 days. 10 women. 1 woman does 7 works per day. So 10 women are going to do 70 works per day. And they search work for 3 days. So 70 into 3. 210 work is completed by women. So that is 630 work is completed. What is the total work? Because 14 men can do the work in 40, 18 days. One man does 10 work per day. So 14 men will do 140 work. So 140 work per day and such 18 days they work for. So 140 by 18 is the total work out of which 630 is done. So 630 is done out of 140 into 8. You can just cancel this out. This is 7, 9 times, 7, 2 times. That is So this is 9 2 times. That means 1 fourth. So 1 fourth work is done. Completed. 1 fourth work is completed. That means how much work is left. That is 3 fourth. 1 fourth is done. So 3 fourth is left. So answer is going to be 3 fourth. 